Hey guys, welcome to uh, round two of Duelist Nexus. This time around I got a booster box. Hopefully we can actually do much better than last time, but I guess we have to open up the packs and find out, right? So, same as the other one, uh, there's going to be a little display telling you how much I spent on this. Hopefully we can make our money back. So, let's jump in and find out, shall we? Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Careful. Go over there. Let's find out. Alright, let's start with the left. Let's see what we get. Over here. Okay. Guess that one I don't want to open. On this side. All right. Ooh. Oh well. Kind of spoiled that one. Red eyes, black meteor dragon. Pretty cool. All right. Let's try and see if we can figure in a little bit through this. Oh, okay. First ultra altergeist. Altergeist Adminia. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. First ultra of the set. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find a better ultra. Jurassic Power. Oops, I gotta work on that. Butterfingers. Testina. Super Heavy Samurai, Evil Light Polis, Agnemo Candle, Ooh, Mighty Dino King Rex. That actually looks really cool as a super. Not bad. Let's see. We can... Do a little better. Rescue Ace Preventer. Signs of Daidera Bucci. Oh. Butterfingers. I'm just going to keep saying that every time I get like a, you know do like an early reveal for Noble Knight. Pretty cool. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we get. I feel like most of the hits are going to be on the right side. And dragon, very nice. Oh wow! You just gotta love the way this secret looks. Really nice, really cool, really really cool. Maybe this should have been the cover card. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I guess it doesn't really fit the color scheme, right? But I think this should have been the cover card. Really nice. Our first secret. Put that over there. Field, Gaia Blaze, Evil Solar, ooh, Big Dween Burfament. I don't think we pulled that in our sneak peek packs, but this is actually pretty cool. Oops, sorry about that. Let's keep going. Super Heavy Samurai Security. Oh, is this a, oh, Ooh, our second ultra, okay, fusion armament, reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and special summon one of the, oh, okay, right, this is uh, the fusion deployment, 
uh, pretty cool. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. It's like a fusion deployment, but special summon. Nice. All right. Emergency. And then Melia. Yeah. I don't know if that Ultra is actually better than the, the fusion deployment. It's special summons, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think on the bottom. At the comment section down below. Terrific power. Butterfingers. Testilio the Shadow Monarch. Cool. Really nice. Love it. Oh, keep pushing this all the way back, which I'm not supposed to do. Sorry about that. say butterfingers or sticky fingers what do you guess or sticky cards too it could be my like little catchphrase every time i mess up let me know what you guys think about that butterfingers sticky fingers i don't know just food for thought i guess we gotta take that out i'm like a little bit of trash on the right side just not good gotta have a little trash can for whenever i open up packs Science of the Testina. Oh, nice. Pure Shelly. Butterfingers. Come on. Gotta get better at that. Gazelle the King. Oh, right. The other one was Burfamet. This is Gazelle. Very nice. Very cool. And then we got the other four Ultras. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Oh, Alright. So this side contained two Ultras and a Secret. The other side is much better, but or hopefully we can pull the quarter century. We'll see. Hopefully we do, but you know, with Yu-Gi-Oh and everything, we don't ever know. We'll sink on and oh, Hound of the Testina. Okay, not bad. I don't know. Preventer, purely Shirley. Oh, again. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think if I should call it Butterfingers, Sticky Fingers, Sticky Cards, or some creative little name whenever I mess up and just you know spoil the super or secret or ultra because it is a. A little weird. It's a little annoying because you know you never know what if you get a good pull and then uh, out of nowhere you just mess it all up. Okay. Ooh, Princess of the Noble Arms. Oh, it doesn't say though, but very nice. Very cool. Infer well, it's an Infer Noble card. Obviously, no one the name, but do you guys think this is actually really good? For the Infernoble support, let me know. Alright, so one more Ultra and one more Secret. And hopefully, we can actually get a Collector's Rare. I mean, a, not a Collector's Rare, sorry. A Quarter Century Rare. Oh, I don't know why this honestly made me think of uh, Elemental Hero Dark Law. But with fire around them. Pretty cool. Oh, well, on the bottom it's just polymerization, so I guess that's probably where I got it, but pretty nice. All right. All right, Unchained Soul, Jurassic Power. Come on. Look at this. Oh, this is actually really cool. Magician of Faithfulness. Otherwise known as Magician of Faith. Upgraded with an effect. You can target one spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and you can special summon one Magician of Faith or Magician of Faithfulness from a deck in face down position. Eh, she would be good if she wasn't at level 5. Seems kind of like 
shibby to set. I don't know. It seems kind of gimmicky, but it's pretty cool because, you know, Magician of Faith. Spoils of Subversion, Snake Eye. Uh, I think this is the part of the new archetype. I think. I'm not so sure. Let me know if this is actually one of the new archetype cards, because I think it is, but I'm not so sure. Or if it's just, you know, uh, another type of card that's just there. You know, generic, secret. All right. We still have yet to hit our last ultra. I'm hoping for the purely noir. For the E purely noir. Because X purely was from uh, Amazing Defenders. Will Synchron. Rankanko Spirit. Illusory Source. Alter Guy Small Wisp. Not bad. Alright, how many packs we got left? Got four left. Alright. Hopefully we can do better. I actually have no idea how it's looking. Ooh, another demi card of the Testina. Oh man, not looking good. Well, at least from what I can tell. Pulled this on our last video. Uh, good or bad, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I mean, the new support for the, you know, the new archetype of Testina seems kind of good, but it also seems kind of meh. Maybe we just gotta wait and see, you know? See if uh, one of the top players will do something good with it. Oh. Manidium Torrid. Alright. Last three packs. Let's see what we need to get. Century. Hopefully we do. You never know. Last pack magic. Oop. Again. I gotta stop doing it. Gotta get a little bit better, but in the future we will. It's a learning process, right guys? Learning process. Alright. Let's see how we do with this one. Super Heavy Samurai, Behemoth, Animal Candle, and Alter Guys, Paratraitor. Not bad. But also not good either. Alright. Last pack magic. Come on, guys. Come on. Hopefully we can actually pull a quarter century there. If not, well, that's not good. Oh, well. Look at that, three and one. Unfortunately, no co quarter century rare. We got the Polar Star. Oof, oh well. It's okay. We got two nice secret rares over here. We got the Crimson Dragon, which is really nice. The secrets look really nice, really gorgeous. All right, well, here is our Big Pools, Altergeist, Fusion Armament, Princess of Noblemen, Demigod of the Testina, Crimson Dragon, and Sinful Souls of Subversion. Yeah. Alright, here's the amount of all these five amazing cards. Hopefully we plus a little bit. A little bit better this time around, but we still lost. Hopefully on the next set, we can actually plus. See you guys on the next one.